What's up, everybody? It's the Creative Fro checking back in, bringing you another episode of What I Wish I Did Wednesday. And today, we're going to be going over 4K versus 1080. So, what's the difference and do you need it? Before we get started, I'm going to go get a coffee. So, let's do that and go back home. Hi, can I get a medium regular? Medium regular, anything else? Nope, that's everything. All right, guys, back here in the house, got the coffee ready to go let me just remind you guys real quick to hit the big red subscribe button if you have yet to already we have two videos a week uploading right now so we don't want you guys to miss out on any content and hit the notification bell just for some fun we're talking about 4k versus 1080p and now what's the difference between them so 1080p is known as hd and 4k is known as ultra hd and 4k's resolution comes out to be 3840 by 2160 1080's resolution is 1920 by 1080. So pretty much the 4K is double in size, which gives you a much higher resolution in your final image. Say you capture all your footage in 4K. You can go home and import those files into the computer, and then when you're editing them, you could choose to take that 4K file and put it in a 1080p timeline, but that 1080p file you make is gonna have a higher resolution than if you were to shoot that same shot with 1080 because you captured it in 4K, which had double of what 1080p can do. So you're gonna get a better looking picture at the end of the day with that. When I decided to make a bigger jump into cameras, I thought instantly, I need 4K, that's gonna take me to the next level. And I kind of disregarded lenses, lighting, sound, and everything else, and jumped over all those and just thought, 4K, it's what I need. And during my research, I was finding that most of the 4K cameras, and I do like Canon, for Canon were expensive. At the time, it was out of my price range. So I decided to look into Sony, see what Sony had. And a couple people I followed were using Sony at the time, so I was like, let me look into the A6300, and sure enough, it shoots 4K. So I was like, bingo, that's it. It's, uh, it's, I, I have a 4K camera now at a good price, and I can offer high quality professional video to people. When I was shooting in 4K, I only had the option to shoot 24 frames a second or 30 frames a second. I couldn't do 60 frames or 120. That was in 1080p. So I was like, okay, that's all right. I decided to capture the 4K footage in 30 frames and then bring it into post and put it into a 1080p timeline instead. I was doing so much research and really a lot of people don't even end up watching your video in full 4K resolution. A lot of people on YouTube just click on the video and watch it how it is so they don't actually go into the settings and choose 4K. If you're using a mirrorless camera which has a crop sensor, for Sony I believe it's 1.5 and for Canon it's 1.6. If I'm mistaken someone let me know in the comments below. Um, yeah, your crop sensor when you go into 4K is now doubled. It crops it even more, so your picture is more narrow, more zoomed in. Another, another downside of 4K is that their files are too large for some programs. That could possibly be a downfall for whatever program you're choosing or however your computer runs. If it's already slow and then you decide to shoot 4K footage and put it onto the computer, it may slow it down a little bit more, so that's another thing to take into consideration. I wish I knew the difference between 4K and 1080 because at the end of the day it's not that big and you could change 4K footage into 1080 and um, you could even scale up 1080 to 4K but it's not the best looking because it's shot in half the size. It's something I spent a lot of time on. There's a lot more steps in filmmaking I wish I would have paid attention to rather than 4K and 1080. So my tip to you guys is keep doing projects, keep going out and shooting and uh, just really see what you need. When you're done shooting just go back and look at the footage and you're going to see what you want to change for next time and then next time you know what you want to do so you could take those changes changes and make them. I also suggest watching other YouTubers that are giving out great content. Don't get caught up on 4K versus 1080. Do what works best for you. If you guys like today's video, hit that like button, share it with somebody who you think could use this information. Comment down below if you had anything you wish you knew and maybe we can make that the next video topic. It's a creative fro and I believe that's it for today. Peace. I forgot the whole time I was recording I had my coffee and now it's like freezing cold. Pro tip, if you guys are uh, making YouTube videos and uh, you don't want to lose your thought, write down a little storyboard and uh, you'll be good to go. And also on the back, the title of what I want to title the video, a description so I can go in and type a description and add some tags so uh, when I'm uploading the video I don't have to think of tags. I already have some down here. Alright, create a fro, I'm really out. Peace. Mm -hmm.